Hey guys, my name is Seth. I've had a couple people ask me questions about how I uh, set up my my pedals to do uh, MIDI commands. Um, so I'll do a brief video here kind of explaining how I do it. Um, first off, I use this pedal board setup. Uh, MIDI things are the TC uh, Helicon Voice Live 3, Singular Sound MIDI Maestro, Aero Sleep Station, which I, I have, but I haven't really implemented into my uh, gigs yet. But uh, at some point in time, I'll be uh, using some MIDI commands to do some looping. Uh, singular Sound Beat Buddy. The singular, singular Sound uh, Foot Switch for the Beat Buddy. And then uh, an Air Turn pedal that I'm using to control on song. The rest of the stuff is just uh, pedal board candy. Um, on my iPad, I have on song. I currently use the 2020 version. I have 2022 downloaded, but it hasn't had all the kinks worked out of it yet. Um, so on here, we need to connect uh, via Bluetooth to the MIDI Maestro and the Air Turn pedal. So I'm gonna do that. Clicking the gear icon, going down to editors, MIDI, clicking the wrench icon, Sources, oops, sources, Bluetooth icon, and then connecting the air turn and the mini maestro. All right, uh, so the blue light stopped blinking on the maestro. Um, we got a solid. Uh, blue blinking light on the air turn indicating we're connected. Um, next up, we're going to cover the um, on song setup. Um, so, if you go into the editor on on song, I've got my uh, metadata at the top. You'll see that I've got the MIDI colon zero dot forty six colon seven at zero. Um, that is the command that drives the um, drum pattern change on the beat buddy. Uh, you could also set up other commands there. Um, that at zero is pointing towards channel one. Maybe starts at zero. So zero is actually channel one. Uh, and that's what I've got the beat buddy set up to. Um, these others, uh, I believe that talks about the, um, the folders. Everything's in the same folder on the uh, default beat buddy uh, SD card so to me that never changes uh, the 46 applies to um, the beat type the genre if you will so that one points to country number eight shuffle brushes that is you see it number 47 country beats collection so again MIDI starts at zero so 47 is actually 46 and then that seven points to the number eight country shuffle brushes that's in that folder if you can see that all right you'll notice the rest of my song is set up i have a little um, emoji of feet that just lets me know when i need to press the uh, section down button on my air turn All right, so when you're setting up MIDI, you need to make sure uh, to do it in a cool way that you've got flow set up in on song. So it means you have uh, intro, verse, chorus, verse, yada, yada. And that is set up in your metadata as well. So you see there I've got flow, colon, I for intro, uh, V1 for verse one, C for chorus, um, so pretty much it will take the first letter and then if you do a space the first character after that uh, if you have similar characters like a break and a bridge you can just spell out the whole thing and it can differentiate uh, the cool thing about this is if you have a course that's repeated throughout you don't have to have the, the text of the course uh, con continuing I've just got one chorus section through here and when um, you're in the display mode, it knows where to put all that stuff. Now, if you got uh, 
know, slight variances in your courses. You might want to have a course one, course two, but um, set that flow up. Uh, make sure your uh, flow names have the name colon nothing after. If there can't be any spaces or anything else after that, or it'll throw it off. Uh, but once you've got that and you've got your song displayed here, then you can long press on a section to bring up the MIDI editor. Okay, so this one's already been programmed. But on that first one, I've got a transition on the beat buddy. There's actually two. The first one starts the beat. The second one, uh, whenever you do a transition on the beat buddy, you're gonna have a follow-up MIDI command that points to zero to end the transition. So it gets out of that transition loop and goes to the normal beat. But for the uh, first one, I've got a value of I'm going to beat pattern one. Uh, that can be set up to whatever part of the beat you want. Most of them have two or three um, sections, unless you're doing a song specific one, then they can get up to 10 or so. Um, but this defaults to 20, 127. And you'll just have to scroll all the way up, find your one, click it. And then, um, of course, I've got all my, my channels already set up too. So let's go back. We'll talk about that a little bit. If you're doing a new MIDI command, it's totally blank. I'm going to do that plus sign down. Oops. Do that plus sign down there. Currently, it's going to all channels. You, you can send commands to all channels, but in this case, I want to send to the Beat Buddy, which I've already named. But let's just pretend that you haven't got it that set up yet. Uh, so you can do channel two. You can rename that channel two to whatever you want. This one I'm just going to call error. I've been meaning to do this anyway. And hit done. Now channel two is called Eros. It will always say Eros on whatever song you go to. Um, channel two will not always say that. I've got Voice Live three on the third channel. And Beat Buddy, oops. Is on the first channel. All right, when you first start, you have a not any history of uh, filling these things out you can name each of these channels. Now there's some default ones that are standard, uh, I guess, MIDI uh, numbers and names, but a lot of the good stuff's down at the bottom. And um, you can actually rename any of these. And if you have the equipment's manual, they'll have all these numbers. They probably are not all used, but they'll have uh, what each number does. And you can go to edit. All right, and just pick one. And you can change that name to whatever you want. So um, I recommend going through the equipment manual. When you start setting up your beat buddy, it takes a little bit of time, but it's useful. If you're doing a lot of songs. So when I set mine up, I went through and renamed all these to match what the manual says. And that makes programming a lot easier because you're not having to remember that 113 is your transition, 112 is your drum fill. It's just always set up in there. And um, you got it there. So remember to long press to get that MIDI command to pop up. Okay. And then uh, you, you want to set up transitions to change um, beat parts. Um, from each section. So, for instance, I have drum pattern one on my intro. I'm going to still use drum pattern one in my verse, so I'm not going to change. I'm just going to do a little fill. Just set to drum fill. The drum fill, just leave it at 127, and it'll just, just do the next drum fill in that cycle. You can point it to specific ones. I just let it uh, randomize and be the, the next one in the, the cycle, okay? But you could set that to one, two, however many fills are programmed for that beat. Um, when 
I'm going to a chorus, I'm gonna do a transition. So here I've got transition to number two. That's the second beat pattern. And of course, I've gotta have a zero following that to make sure the transition ends. And then of course, I'm using uh, harmony pedal as well, so I turn that on. And for those, 127 is on, zero is off or one is off. Um, I think it divides halfway in between is, is on and the bottom half is off. But if you're not using those, don't worry about them. Then from the chorus, I'm gonna transition back to one. Down there, set to one. Another transition of zero. And then I'm turning off my harmony. Uh, again, that's, that's the, the gist. You can go through all that and, and program your song. Um, again, notice the, uh, the little feet icon. I had to do something to help me uh, remember when to press my air turn pedal because if I pressed it too soon or too late, depending on the beat and the feel, um, it would hit at the wrong time. So, you know, based on whatever the tempo is and the, the timing and, and um, my chord changes, um, I started adding those feet in there that helped me a lot, especially when playing live to just know I have got to hit, hit my air turn pedal at this point. Um, down at the bottom, you'll see I use a little stop sign emoji. I'm using that to do the outro button on the foot switch. Um, you can set up in MIDI commands to do an outro with that, that's your choice, uh, but I'm currently using that button to do it. Let's think of anything else that you guys might find handy. Nothing I can think of. Um, in on song, a lot of times, your um, your measure it may not match exactly with your chord changes. So I'm sure people do it different ways. But when I have a, a chord that's played half a measure, I'm using uh, four four two asterisks um, within the bracketed chord to let me know that that's two beats of the bracket. Uh, again, that's helpful, particularly when I'm using the uh, here we are. The little foot symbol. So if I've got, if I had two C's that were maybe a C and a D and they were played half a measure each, uh, my foot switch would actually be over here on on the first chord. Uh, you could do it on the D if that was a D. Um, you just don't get a, as long of a feel with it and you got to be quicker with the foot switch. So I always try to put it on the first half of a, of a split uh, measure. All right, guys, that's uh, about all I got. If you got any other questions, you know where to find me.